European Union's data protection legislation was drawn up at a time when you would probably send a company some information on paper or by or tell it by phone and the company would keep that data in its own records data about you but nowadays the company is likely to, to collect that data over the internet through a web page and that same web page might send information about you to a dozen other companies which might not even be in Europe and not subject to these regulations at all but they're getting some of your personal information. What's happening with the data protection regulation? Where we are facing a big problem it's very worrying what's happening now and um, we have a very a decent good proposal from the law proposal from the European Commission that is right now being destroyed uh, by a possible majority of uh, members of the European Parliament. We didn't really show how uh, uh, difficult it's been for us to pass the amendments and uh, how big is the lobby from all the like uh, industries in the, in the European Parliament. A Swedish individual is likely to have listened to the Swedish labor unions who are likely to have proposed something incredibly stupid. They are unable to learn from about 20 years of history because they listen to the Swedish government, which in turn listens mm. to the American lobby, because the American lobby is organizing a lot of actually events in Stockholm right now where they invite government representatives to hear their important opinions. If you're in Europe and you're using a server in the US, the US government thinks it's okay to spy on all the data going back and forth under the FISA Amendments Act, which legalized Bush's secret uh, wiretapping. But I need the original formulation of Article 28 to determine these policies and measures taken to ensure. That means that they can submit a policy document. So IBM writes a document somewhere in the legal department that we are doing everything we can. And the exactly. Data and then by yeah. the EU data protection regulation is really necessary. It needs to be in place as soon as possible because we have companies just searching for the law in Europe, which is the lowest, the weakest and where the enforcement is also weak and as they, uh, these companies can only choose where they go uh, and then this law will be applied to all of us, to Swedish, to Danish, to Italians or Austrians, it's the same. We undermine our own legal principles and our own data protection laws if we accept this. Um, they are basically ready to abandon and give up the privacy and the personal data of their citizens uh, to big business and to badly intentioned states. So apparently John ah. Rogers, the American ambassador ah, yeah, in Berlin, mm -hmm. said that the US might consider a trade war. A trade war? Over data protection. What is a trade war? Well, it would mean that they put in place, I guess, additional barriers to trade between our two communities to convince European political leaders that putting in place this particular protection of fundamental rights for the EU citizens is not good. Did he actually insinuate that if we are not sensible, then that situation will be threatened? Well, he didn't have to, but I mean, you, you could read that between the line if, if you're looking for it, but he didn't say it, he didn't have to say it, because the situation was like, it's obvious that we will come to a good conclusion because you're sensible people, you will do as we say. Uh, but not in those words. The fact that these different points of view exist uh, should not uh, for let us forget that uh, uh, we yeah. should not really balance, uh, we should uh, give a preference to the European citizens. Uh, Over the American business interests? Well, one would hope. If any, yeah, indeed, indeed. So who are these uh, private interests? Private interests uh, are the one that have a business model online that is mainly based on storing and selling transmitting personal information. Mm -hmm. Data is said to be a new currency and personal data um, is of very high value. 
Okay, so who's going to be at the meeting? All the shadows in Italy and the avatar and their assistants? No, yes. uh, the um, SD shadow won't be there. Okay. No, the assistants, so the advisor will be only there. Uh -huh. yes. But she, she backs us for... Yes. What are our approach? Are we friendly? Are we trying to compromise? Or we are, are we very friendly, friendly yeah. and we're trying to compromise. I think that some of the deputies in the meetings may not have read the texts that they're proposing or the texts that they're building. Why would you, for clarity's sake, remove a consistency, consistency mechanism? When they have removed all accountability from the regulation, they say, yeah, we've introduced more flexibility. But this is not true. Being accountable for your action is a kind of fundamental principle of our regulatory framework. We want entities to be accountable for that which they do. Except if we're in the parliament, apparently. Yeah. Now, you'll find those who are in favor of internet surveillance talking about the virtue of innovation and the need not to bother these companies that have built their business models on surveillance. Well, innovation isn't necessarily a good thing if we don't get to choose which innovations to use. A company really makes a decision and says, you could have some convenience, but you have to let us spy on you and track you and know a lot about you. The Green Group and the Socialist Groups, we had a lot of, um, of points to address. Mm -hmm. And we said that we would like these points to be taken into account. So they want, you know, they want, don't want to compromise. They, we are facing a wall. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that in in a compromise discussion so far. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, this is also a sign. If if our opponents uh, give us a sign that um, they don't want to compromise with us, it means that um, it means that you know they they, they want to go by force. They want to, to reach a majority by force, and and uh, this is uh, this is kind of scandalous. I mean, for the European citizens. Uh, also, because when we sit in the meetings, often we will have semantic discussions: appropriate versus inappropriate. Do we put in may or shall? Is it good in this case to use serious or shall we only use adversely? And we have long, long semantic discussions like this when actually the fundamental different philosophies behind our approaches is that I like data protection and they don't. Yeah, and this we cannot really discuss because it's kind of an almost unovercomable obstacle if you're so far away from each other that yeah. either you like privacy or you don't like privacy or you don't believe that, that privacy is good for people or for companies then of course I believe that privacy is good for both the individuals in a democratic society and that companies can make sustainable business models based on privacy. So it puts us so far apart that you would wonder actually what the compromises are about. These issues need to be addressed. Europe needs to make its data protection system tighter so that these loopholes get shut. But what do you think that is their objective with all those amendments? I think that they don't like data protection. This is the problem. They are fundamentally opposed to the purpose of the regulation, which is to protect personal data. It has to be clear that there are rules on profiling, that I cannot only be profiled without knowing what the logic behind that profiling is and what the consequences is. Uh, are, and also, of course, there need to be sanctions, because law without sanctions is no real law and it's no rule which will exist so we need to be able to enforce it and to go to our data protection of uh, authorities and complain about breach of the law so that's what we have to fight for. Uh, some figures I saw from Eurostat say that 70 percent of European citizens are very concerned about um, their privacy and, and, and their personal data and studies from the US uh, show figures about 80 percent. It's, it's, a, it's a real, real problem where we are lacking of lacking trust and we need to ensure the citizens that their privacy is being respected. We need a strong data protection regulation but to have that in place as a strong rule we need support, we need people fighting for good data protection rules because here in the European Parliament there are many many groups who are lobbying for weakening of the existing standards.